What are we making today? Nachos. Nachos. You know how to open that? You know how to use that? Uh, mm. Yeah. There's two ways it can be used. You want to take it. This is the standard way here. You take this, put that on the edge like that. Squeeze it and then turn it. Or you can put it up. Or you can put it this way. If you put it this way. And peel it this way. No. This way is more cleaner. Because if you if you if you do it like this, what's gonna happen is that lid, even though we wipe the lid off, that lid is gonna go into your food. Once this thing do a full circle, that lid's gonna go in your food. Mm -hmm. If you do it this way, your your lid won't. So let's do it this way. So attach it. See see these two uh this area here, this little that's the little spinner that spins it around, and this is the cutter. You're gonna be covering right there to cut you. Mm -hmm. So you wanna take this and put it on there just like that. And when you feel that it's on that, when you feel that you're on that little that little lip part, squeeze it. Okay, that's it. Now start turning it with your other hand. Turn this. go almost there no oh is it okay see see that right there mm -hmm. did that lid go in there no is that is that going to be contaminated no it can't be because the lid is right there so what we're going to do now we're going to turn that upside down and we're going to walk it over to the trash and put it in the trash can just open it up that falls down that bone just like that and we're going to come on back. Yeah. So what we did, we just poured out the um, the chili, put it in a microwave safe bowl, and we're going to heat that up. We're going to heat that up. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to take this cheese and we're going to shred our own cheese. We got our, we have our, our little shredder here, the, the knuckle buster. So let's get that. Where's the cheese, Craig? We're going to grab this cheese. So we're gonna take that, we're gonna take that cheese and run it across that top part right there. That's the shred part. Yeah. Yeah, it's shredding. You just gotta just take your time with it because, you know, yeah, you wanna you don't wanna get you don't wanna get it on the get a lot on the floor. I mean we could sweep it up or whatever, but and then every so often you're gonna wanna flip that flip that block over to this side and do it yeah just like that every once in a while you may have to do that let's see how much cheese we got now uh okay let's keep shredding the more pressure you use this hand the more pressure you put on there the um the more force you're gonna put on those little them little blades which means it'll cut more but look at it look how we beating up the cheese now so you got to flip that over yeah, so it'll be nice. Yeah, you just want to transfer it because no, no, no. Pick the pick the big plate up and then just um, scoop it all up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to get all that because you're going to use that big plate as your main plate for um, everything. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. Now, once we did that. Let's put that plate back here. We're going to take that lettuce over there and we're going to shred that lettuce down. So you can leave that there. So get, get that, get the lettuce. You're going to grab it. It's already been washed and everything. You're going to just put it on your plate here because we're going to, we're going to shred it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you want to save that because once we shred it, it's going to go back. So to get a good shred, you want to, you want to take this and fold it. Fold it in half. Uh-uh. Always fold forward. Fold forward. Fold forward. Okay, now set it down. And then you're going to take your knife and you're going to cut across. There you go. That's how you get that good shredded. 
the, the more space you have in between your cuts, the larger. So if you want your lettuce to be thinner, then the cut's gonna be what? Smaller. Closer to closer together. Mm -hmm. So if that's how you want it, that's perfectly fine. So keep cutting that on down. When you get to the point where you where you feel uncomfortable with it, you wanna take all you wanna stop. And then you're gonna take this. You want to put that into your holding thing that it initially was in because we're getting ready to build this um we get ready to build this 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 monster uh taco salad or whatever you want to call it nacho whatever you want to call it yeah you want to get all of that off because that plate and everything is getting ready to be heated up how you feel so far you good you good all right Let's take that, uh, let's, let's, let's bust open that bag of them J. Higgs. If you like Doritos, you'll love J. Higgs. Or if you want to save about open it all the way, open $5. It. Uh, yeah, yeah, just open it from the middle. But, you know, because some people open up stuff and, 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 and it, it just be a mess. And you can't close it back right. And, you know, so there you go. Boom. See, that's a perfect way. So you're going to take that and dump them on your plate. Yeah, get the dump on. There you go. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. That's it. It depends on how many you want. If you want more than that, put more than that on there. You score three touchdowns a day, right? Mm hmm All right. So that's this, this. That's good for me right there. We're going to take that right there. Uh, for the meantime, just put it back up here because I, I, don't, I don't know where I put this, the little, the little clothes hanger. I mean, what's the name? So next, we're going to go over here to our preheated, our preheated um, chili. You're going to use that spoon, and you're going to spoon that chili over top of them, uh, them good old uh, demonstration uh, Doritos. Those not the real joints. Those that's a demo, but they just as good. Yeah, you want to get a good spread right there if you feel like that's enough for you because you don't want to go a whole lot because what happened is them joints going to get soggy and then you're going to be yeah it's going to be okay once you get satisfied with where you where you are where you stand right there put the lid on that pop the lid on that slide that out of the way then you're going to take that cheese pop that cheese on there however you want it we don't have no jalapenos or anything like that because i forgot to get them but we do got onions, but all that other stuff is also in the in the chili that we got. So yeah, all that right there that you um, shredded, mm -hmm. just go ahead and dump that on there because we're not gonna put that back in the refrigerator. Boom! I'm gonna walk over to the microwave, put that in, and see where we at. Okay, now while that's in there doing this thing, now it's the cleanup part. Mm -hmm. Cheese goes back. In the fridge. You gotta clean up as you as you go along. Uh, these chips go back up there on the on the on the chip rack. That shredded that shredded uh that little shredder or whatever, you could just rinse that off and that's gonna go in the in the dish uh, in the dish uh, pan or dish bucket, whatever you wanna call it. Yeah, that's good. Ain't, well, I'm, we're going to wash the dishes anyway, so you ain't got to worry about all that. You can just put it just yeah, put it, put it, it back in there because it's got to be washed. Mm -hmm. This right here, that goes in the, no, not the refrigerator. We're going to wait until this cools down before we put it in the refrigerator. Sometimes when you put hot stuff in the refrigerator, it, uh, it's, it does something. I don't know what it do, but it does something that's not right. So this plate, we know we're no longer using this plate, right? Uh -huh. So that plate gets rinsed off and it goes in the in the uh, in the dish uh, pan for washing, flipped upside down, always upside down. It's, it could be a fly in here or whatever. You don't want no flies landing on your stuff. So, boom! All right, boom! There it is. Let's let's, let's get these out. Them joints look good. I mean, I mean, let's see what they look like under the light over here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Damn, some jalapenos would have been. It'd have been butt busting on that joint. All right, go ahead and um. Go ahead and put that shredded uh, lettuce on there. Yeah, as much as you want. And then we got that, that dip right there. You could pop that dip open and you could just like, you know, 
It's sour cream. Put it on there how you want it. Yeah, because you actually going to take that chip and... Scoop up yeah. corners and stuff. Yeah. So you can make it, you know, do a little presentation or, or you can just put it on there however you want. It doesn't matter. So when you finish with that, you're going to put that cover on there. And that's going back in the refrigerator up here, right there. Take that right there and I just rinse that off because, I mean, I know you want to, you know, but we don't want to contaminate nothing. All right, so we're gonna open up that uh, open up that saucer. Yeah, get that saucer a good twist. There it is. Take that spoon that you just rinsed off, cleaned off, and you're gonna put that saucer on there. You know, your saucer don't have to be heated up or nothing. You got your hot at the bottom and your cool at the top. You put that on there however you want it on there, however you want to spread it on there. Just know that the more that goes in there, that junk gonna have a risk of being soggy. But uh, yeah, it's, it's that's it, man. That's it. That's all. I didn't hold that to it, and it didn't take that long. What do you think about the results? Pretty good. Yeah, it looks good. Let's let's, let's go ahead and taste one, man. We'll see. Let's see. I would, man, you was going for the same one I was. All right, here we go. We're gonna taste one. Woo! That's right.